Is this a winner for Pixar? What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. So today I'm giving you my review of Elemental. This is the latest Pixar movie that just hit theaters this weekend. Before I dive into my thoughts, hit that like button, comment down below your thoughts on this movie, you've seen it, your expectations if you have not. And of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell to help me reach my goal of 80,000 subscribers here on the channel, it'll mean a lot. Without further ado, let's dive into this movie. So I feel like I'm beating a dead horse when it comes to talking about Pixar movies anymore because the animation is gorgeous. I have to start with the obvious and that is the obvious in this case. The premise of this movie deals with all the different elements living in the same city. You've got air, fire, earth, water. Very Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> It throws them all in this big world, but they all have different styles of animation, which creates a divisiveness among them. And it almost enhances the storytelling in a way, adding little details where fire's animated one way, water's animated one way, even air and earth have their own styles of animation. It was really unique, and I think that it lended to the storytelling. Just seeing them do these different little things in the world, where that's fire taking sand and, you know, turning it into glass and designing a really cool piece of art with it, or water being able to travel through pipes or, you know, jump through sewer grates. It was interesting to see how they all find function within their world. And hats off to Pixar for innovating when it comes to animated storytelling, because even the way these people traveled their city was unique. There's just so many little details in this movie that pay off, and it just goes to show how much attention to detail is given to Pixar films, and that shines here with the animation style. Now, when it comes down to the story itself, I thought it was really sweet. You know, there's a lot of heartfelt elements to the story, no pun intended there. But the film functions best as this romance story. You know, fire and water, they can't mix, but they end up having this little almost coming of age journey in a way that I really resonated with. It was really moving seeing this young love in the air, and then you've got the whole family drama story as well, which really lends itself to ideas of growing up and having to go against what your parents might want for you or their viewpoints or ideas with the world. It's something that we've all thought about at some point in our lives. And so again, it was easy to resonate with watching this film, you know, this concept of growing up, it's something we all do and Pixar typically goes for this, you know, main theme in a lot of their movies and it hits here, it really does. The characters of Ember and Wade couldn't be more different on paper, but watching them develop and have this relationship form over the course of the movie was really sweet. I cannot tell a lie. Now, with that being said, I do think that the overall hook for this movie, like the main plot, it's fairly bland or uninteresting, I might say. You might even be surprised if I told you what it was. You look at a lot of these other Pixar films, they have these stories that just suck you in. This is a lot simpler in terms of the Pixar scale. And that works at times, especially for certain character moments. But overall, I found myself kind of checking the time being like, okay, let's pick up the pace a little bit here. It feels like we're just sort of meandering for what? And as cool as it was to see this relationship form between fire and water, those that shouldn't mix, if I'm being truthful here, I found a lot of the characters to be sort of irritating. A lot of the humor wasn't hitting for me, you know, a lot of it's targeted to the younger audience. I get it. They're probably going to laugh. Like characters made decisions that I strongly disagree with and it made them unlikable, especially the character Ember at times. At a certain point, this movie just kept rehashing the same conflict over and over. We'd have a scene, there was this big dramatic moment between two characters, and then 10 minutes later, it'd be like, oh, we're gonna go through it again. And then 10 minutes later, we're gonna try this again. It became repetitive to the point of me losing interest. I was like, this is probably gonna lead nowhere because it's likely going to resolve itself. So the conflict really lost any tension for me. So the movie functions as a coming of age film with those romance and family drama elements really well. And it hits home on some important ideas that we've all had to think about in our lives or experience mainly pertaining to like moving on into a new chapter of life and really pursuing your dreams. Those are all things that I appreciate and I think the movie did a great job of portraying, but it would have hit even harder if the characters were a little more likable and if there was like a truly engaging main plot line here because it's pretty paper thin when you actually watch it. It managed to warm my heart by the end of the movie and there were moments where I was like, oh, that's really sweet. So I'll say it's a cute movie, but I can't sit here and say it is a great movie. In fact, if I'm comparing it to Pixar's catalog, which I have to do, it's a new Pixar movie, it's certainly Reversible, it's fine, but it definitely falls in like the middle of the road to maybe back half category. It really is just lacking that Pixar magic, and I think the golden days for Pixar are probably long gone. They haven't had a true winner in a few years in my book. I think that just comes down to the characters. I look back at some of the best Pixar films of all time, and it's because I have this deep love for the characters. In this movie, they're very hit or miss, depending on the scene. Again, there's a lot of really irritating, frustrating decisions made in this film that had me in my seat cringing almost. I was like, oh, what are we doing? So overall, Elemental was a fine watch. If you're a fan of Pixar, you'll find some enjoyment here. It has some stunning animation and some moments that really pulled on my heartstrings, but overall, I can't look past the bland storyline, the characters that were so frustrating at times and just 
forgettable, frankly, and an overall lack of that true Pixar magic. It's upsetting, but to me, we haven't had a true hit for Pixar since Onward. Elemental's a fine enough watch, but I do fear that years from now, I'll totally forget I ever even watched the movie. It also doesn't help that the Carl's Date short that came before the movie outshined the entire movie in my mind. I'm a big fan of Up, and that thing damn near had me in tears before the movie even started, so putting a short of that caliber right before this movie, I was like, okay, let's see if you can top it. And I think that the short was actually better than the movie itself, which isn't the greatest thing. Elemental's a fine watch. Didn't hate my time with it. It's got those cute, heartwarming moments for sure. But at the end of the day, it didn't do too much for me. But that's just my take on Elemental. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this movie. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified for my future videos and help me reach my goal of 80,000 subscribers here on the channel. It'll mean a lot. I'll probably have a ranking of all the Pixar movies coming this weekend, tier list style, including Elemental. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. <laughs>